Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and I started a new project that is a rag rug, but I had a bit of technical difficulties with the video recording. So typically when I do projects, I will record the intro like this and maybe show you some of the materials I'm going to be using and what the project is all about. And then I'll start in on the weaving and show you a good portion of that uh, process. However, when I went to do the editing on this video, I couldn't find the file. Um, so I record the videos in several different files um, as, I, as the process goes along because the videos get rather large and I cannot find the intro video anywhere. So, I'm doing this one after the fact, and I'll be doing some voiceovers for uh, some of the video that doesn't have uh, me talking and describing the process because I don't have that part of the video. <laughs> so um, I wanted to let you know that uh, the warp that I'm going to be using for this rug is a 12-6 uh, cotton by Brockens, and this is a rug warp. Uh, it's a high twist and I believe this color is called wheat um, it's just a, a light neutral color and the fabric that I used is a bold print of sunflowers and um, I have a picture of the strips cut all up in a basket and me starting the weaving that uh, I can show you here, but I don't have the, the video of the uncut fabric. Now I cut this fabric in three quarter inch strips for the main body of the uh, weft and I used three eighths inch strips for the hem allowance. I threaded the loom in a uh, eight shaft straight draw and tied it up for a um, advancing twill. It's a very simple weave structure and um, I used a plain weave on the hem. I could have gone ahead and used a, a twill also on the hem, but I didn't. So I'd like to thank you for watching my videos. If you enjoy them, please give them a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. So we'll go ahead and start in on the weaving here. So you can see here, I've got the waist fabric strips at the beginning of my warp. You want to lay in a good foundation of the waist fabric because it's going to support your header and make it easier to pack it in nice and tight. Then I wove a 3 8 inch header using the same yarn as the warp, 1216 cotton rug warp. The rug warp header is important to hold the fabric strips in tightly when you're hemming the rug. Next, I attach the temple and weave a 2 inch hem allowance with the 3 8 inch fabric strips. Using the temple is really important to keep drawn to a minimum and to keep your rug at a consistent width. Once the hem is in place, I switch to the 3 8 inch fabric strips and start weaving the body of the rug. I found with the previous rug, sewing the strips end to end and winding on a shuttle just didn't work for me. Fortunately, I purchased five yards of this fabric on clearance, so my strips are nice and long, and I decided to just lay each strip in by hand. I twist the selvage, make sure the pattern is facing up, and beat very firmly. I really need to get a weight for my beater if I'm going to be doing much rug weaving.
The ends of the strips are cut at an angle about three inches long, so when I end one strip and start another, I just overlap those angles and keep weaving. It's also important to move your temple fairly often. I moved it about every one and a half to two inches. At this point, I realized I could use a long stick to push the fabric strips through the warp rather than trying to stuff my entire arm through there. I tried winding just one or two strips onto the stick shuttle for a while, but it didn't seem to save much time, so I switched back to just using it to push them through. All right, so we're at the end of our rug now, and I'm going to put in the narrower cut pieces for the hem allowance. Uh, this is cut at 3 eighths of an inch wide, and it will just create less bulk uh, for folding the hem over. I have the end of my um, regular weft fabric here that is too long so I'm going to go ahead and trim that and I'm going to cut it at an angle like that all right and then we'll um, tuck that one back in now I'm going to be doing uh, the plain weave on the hem allowance and we'll just tuck this tail in there and then we will put the I might end here we'll put the um, 
hem weft in. And I found that using this that stick shuttle just to push it through, I'm not winding it on the stick shuttle, I'm just using it as a pusher. So we'll overlap those. And then we'll just do two inches of plain weave for the hem. Once the rug is finished and off the loom, I'll tie the warp threads and square knots and fold over the hem allowance twice and sew it in place. Karen Eisenhower from Warped for Good has a great video on this hemming technique. I'll leave a link to her video in the description. get a little crazy about trying to get the fabric so that the pretty side is out. Um, you can get just as crazy as you want or not. So that was my last pick and I will trim that tail and then twist it around and go over the floating selvage, tuck it back in the same shed, and right. now I am going to put in um, the header uh, of the uh, warp yarn. That. So you can see this is just the same yarn that I'm using as the warp, which is a, um, I think it's a 12-6, and um, I'm going to start from this side, since I tucked my tail on this side, I just like to start from the opposite side. And we'll do three eighths of an inch for the header. One more and we will be done. Tuck the tail and back in the same shed. So that is it for that rug. However, I have a lot more warp on my loom. So I am going to go ahead and start another rug 
and I'm gonna experiment and play with um, some of the materials that I have. Uh, it's still going to be in a uh, some sort of a twill that uses a straight draw since that's what I have warped up. So uh, I will go ahead and advance my warp and we'll put some uh, waste yarn in here to take up um, what I'm going to need to create my, uh, to secure my weft, and then we will start in on that project. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and happy weaving!